वेलकम बैक टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन हीट ट्रांसफर ऑपरेशन दिस इज योगेश लांडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अवर न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन लम्ब सिस्टम एनालिसिस द न्यूमेरिकल प्रेडिक्टिंग द टाइम ऑफ डे person is found dead at 5 pm in the room whose temperature is 20 degree celsius the temperature of the body is measured to be 25 degree celsius when the body and heat transfer coefficient is estimated to be 8 watt per meter square per degree celsius modeling the body as the 30 cm diameter and 1.70 meter long cylinder estimate the time of the death of the person <coughs> so what is given so time of a person found dead at 5 pm the room temperature is given 20 degree celsius the temperature of the body when it is found that time it is measured 25 degree celsius and the heat transfer coefficient of surrounding it is 8 watt per meter square per degree celsius and we consider the body whose consider the it is a cylindrical structure and the diameter is 30 cm and the length is 170 m long so this numerical is from the sengel book in the second edition now let's consider a uh, the man who's we uh, would like to find what is the death time of the man okay so there are the certain assumptions that we first look out so what will be the initial temperature of the body it is we assuming initial temperature of the body when it is live it is 37 degrees celsius and as we know that the average human body is 72 to 75% of water by mass and thus we can assume the body to have the properties of the water at an average temperature of 31 degrees celsius so we are assuming the things it is that the 72 percentage of water that's why we consider the body it is the properties of water that we have considered the properties of water at 31 degree celsius so properties of the water at 31 degree celsius it is the conductivity is 0.615 density is 996 kg per meter cube specific heat is 4178 joule per kg per degree celsius and the structure of the body it is the cylindrical one okay so what is the assumption the first assumption initial temperature of the body it is 37 degree celsius the properties of the water that we consider here as the conductivity density and specific heat on the basis of the 72% of the water in the body now consider the cylindrical structure of the body okay but here again the two things the one we consider the the heat is transfer not only on the surface of the heat but at the top and at the bottom side so total area for this case it is so surface area as well as this top side and bottom side also we consider as this is a cylindrical structure and this is the open side and this is the open side so what we do we just make out the one heat is transfer on this surface also as well as the heat is transfer from the bottom side okay so what is the volume as it is a cylindrical cylindrical structure so volume is pi r square l and when you put the value of r and l you will get the volume is 0.120 meter cube and the surface area is 2 pi r l means this surface area you consider we consider the this one the surface area of a cylinder and the formula is 2 pi r l 
on that basis we got the value is 1.602 meter square also we have to consider this area and this area too the red circle which is shown here top side and the bottom side so we write the formula for that cross sectional area obviously here if i have to take the cross sectional area and it is pi r square and as the 1 and 2 uh, circles that we consider so that's why it is 2 pi r square okay so 1 and 2 that's why we multiply by 2 into pi into r square and after putting the values we got the value is 0.141 meter square now to find the total area what is the total area surface area plus the area of these two circles so it is total area is 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r l and addition of this and this one we will get the value is 1.743 meter square now the next step to find the characteristic length and the byte number because once we know the byte number then we can say whether uh, this particular body it is the slump system analysis is applicable or not for that one we should find first the byte number and to finding the byte number to find the byte number we should first find what is the characteristic length so we first find the characteristic length so characteristic length is volume upon the total area the volume is 0 0.120 and the total area is 1.743 after putting the value of volume and putting the value of area we got the value is 0 0.0689 meter so this, this is the characteristic length of it now find the byte number as we have the formula for the byte number it is h the transfer coefficient up into the characteristic length upon the conductivity so h is the 8 is mentioned the conductivity of the body consider and the characteristic length from it so after putting these values we got the value is 0.89 and obviously this is less than uh, greater than 0.1 so therefore here the lump system analysis is not applicable for this system for this body because the byte number is greater than 0.1 and as per the our thumb rule it is byte number should be less than 0.1 then only the lump system analysis is applicable but till we try to solve this numerical based on the by consideration of the uh, lump system analysis for a rough estimate of the time depth so first we writing the formula for the b b is the constant term from the unsteady state uh, heat transfer for the lump system analysis and it is h heat transfer coefficient density of the body specific heat of the body and the characteristic length and after putting the values we got the value of b is 2.566 into 10 to the power minus 5 second inverse then we write the formula to find the time because here we would like to find what is the time so t at any time t infinity t initial temperature and t infinity now t infinity stands for surrounding temperature of the room which is given 25 ti we consider the initial temperature of the body when before the uh, date of the body uh, death of the man it is the 37 degrees celsius and this is at any time means when we found the body that time the temperature of the body is 20 degrees celsius okay so 20 this is uh, 25 and this is 37 and then put the values of beta here uh, sorry b here and uh, these values after putting all this one we got it is it, uh, exponential of this 0.256 from this, this beta uh, from the b and then while after calculation you got the value in second it is 43,860 uh, 43, second and conversion of second into the hours we got it is 12.2 hours means the time of day it is 12 hour now from that one we can easily estimate what is the time of the day because we are here to know what is the time of day as we found the body at 5 pm and the time after it it is 12 hours so on the on the, this data it is said that it is 12 hours to death so the time the person died about 12 hours before the body was found and that's the time of death is 5 am means the 
approximately date time is 5 am thank you very much to watching this video